take me home, and he left. I don't know where he went. I assumed he went to see Chris. I'm so sorry, Michelle. Did you say that on the stand? I told the truth. What would you have me do? Exactly what you did. Tell the truth. It's just, those strangers don't know Nathan like we do. And your testimony gave motive to them. I can't believe his lawyers let you take the stand with that. So it's my fault that he killed a man? You think he did it? Yes. How can you say that? You should know Nathan better than any of us. He told me he did it. He told me he didn't do it. Ladies, come on, this isn't helping. So what do we do now? Just wait for the verdict? Yes. Already. Tom. I told Sophia the truth, and I won't apologize for that. What? You don't have kids, so you have no understanding of what children need to know and not know. I'm a parent, not you. If you can't respect that, I don't want you around my daughter anymore. How'd she take the news about Derek being her dad? What? Let's get you to the school bus. Are you talking about me? <sighs> Sophia, now! No! Is it true? Does he know? He didn't know until a few months ago. You lied, Mama. Again. Everything okay, ladies? <sighs> no, but we have to get going. You okay? I don't know. You think you'll be able to make it through school today? Yes. I'll take care of him. He will not be picking her up. Now get out of my house. Look, we don't have time for this. I said get out of my house! What about Nathan? I'll meet you there, but Kimberly and I are done. Not now. What have we done? Michelle. Everything okay? Yes, yes. Are you here for a Bible study? No. Okay, I should go. Okay, why don't you stay? It's a pretty good study tonight. We've been talking about the fruits of the Spirit. Not really my scene. I said the same thing once. How did you get back? I overcame the guilt and the shame by trusting in what Jesus did for me on the cross. You really believe that stuff? I really do. And deep down inside, I know you do too. Hey, what's wrong? I can't go back inside that church. Not after everything. Lies. The enemy tells you to keep you from your healing grace in God. I'm beyond healing. Michelle, whatever it is, it's not too big for our God. Regardless of what you've done or may feel, God loves you. <laughs> so glad you reached out to me, baby. How are you doing? It's been hard, Laverne. Oh, Thanks for meeting me. Oh, God. What have you been through? The, the cheating, being gay. Mom? Kimberly, hey. Have a seat. I reached out to your mother. I needed someone to talk to. Uh huh. Finishing up on your run? Yeah. You know, Nathan's been calling Michelle. That's good. How is he? I haven't picked up. What? 
him, it's been too much for her, the cheating, being gay. I understand that. However, he needs someone to talk to. He is still your husband. I filed for divorce. Are you sure that's best with everything that's going on? He's been on suicide watch twice. And that isn't her fault. I say cut your losses. Yeah, well, what does God say? Nothing. So you're going to follow what my mom says? No offense. Men taken. We know Nathan. He didn't do this. He slept with that man. And that's a sin, Missy. A big one. Why are you here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Michelle. I wasn't much of a husband. And you were right. Still doesn't make what I did right. I killed someone. God's not going to forgive that. Discouragement. One of the devil's favorite tactics. Makes you look at the problem rather than God. <laughs> but God. Jesus died on the cross for that very sin, Michelle. We have to get in the business of making our relationship and his death on the cross for us more personal. Was Paul not forgiven? What about Moses? But I'm not going to be somebody great, Nathan. Says who? God has a plan and a purpose for each of us. Hey, no hands. You killed someone. That's bad. Then you lied and put it on me. Not too good. But you did come clean in time. You admitted to what you did, and you stand ready to accept responsibility for it. To me, that shows you're sorry and trying to make things right. I am sorry. I know that I've grieved the Father's heart. I just don't know how to move on from here. How can I just be like, Lord, forgive me for taking a life and move on with my life like it never happened? I killed someone, Nathan. I did that. You do that by setting your mind upon our Savior. Make Him the center of your life. Your sole purpose for living. Let your life be a testimony of how good He is. How great His mercy is. See, God is in the business of using every situation in our lives for His will. Even if we don't seem to get it. Or see it. I don't know what I can do here in prison. You can start by telling anyone who will listen about Jesus, about Calvary, who he is, what he did, and who they are in him. You can start by praying over the staff, the people locked up and hurting, the ones looking for hope and joy in all the wrong places. Let your life be an explanation of how good he is in all situations. The joy of the Lord is with you always, Michelle. You don't have to be in church to praise him. Help the body of Christ right here in this facility. You won't have to do it alone. I'm going to be here praying for you. I'm going to help. I plan to talk to the pastor about starting a prison ministry right here. Why don't you do that for me, Nathan? Even after everything? Because Jesus did it for me. And if he did it for me, a sinner, then I can do the same thing and forgive too. Time's up. Why? Because it hurts too much, Nathan. The prison ministry is something I want to do. But seeing you, I don't want to anymore. Do you hate me that much? Hate you? No. 
my life sort of started and kind of ended with you. Most times, I'm thankful that I met you. But then there are times that I wish I never would have transferred to that college. What really happened that night, Michelle? I told you what happened. My life today, in this moment, God has me in a place where all I can do is deal with the baggage. It's just Jesus and I. No more running. My path with you has ended, and I'm walking a new one now. Do you understand? I get it. Pastor has contacted me, and I'll be working closely with the prison ministry here. That's good. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Never had purpose until now. Michelle, it's weird saying this in the midst of the situation, but I am happy for you. For we are to give thanks in all circumstances, for that's God's will for us in Christ Jesus. I'm so thankful I didn't take my life afterwards. It gave me a chance, after much pressing from the Holy Spirit, to seek forgiveness and to do what is right, to make amends as Jesus did for me with the Father. I'm grateful. Hey, no hands. It still doesn't change the fact that I took a man's life. I'll regret that my whole life, Nathan. I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused this family. I pray that one day they'll be able to forgive me. Give them time. Yeah. So, I guess this is by Michelle. Guard. Well, okay, you're so Bombay, you're all the dark side, you're so my dossier, I don't give what I can.